Hi, I'm Jerry the Car Pro, and this is the 2011 Lincoln MKS. This car is designed to compete against cars like the Lexus LS460, and it's got some nice luxury features. It features a lot of room and good safety scores, but the V6 EcoBoost engine is the real story behind this car. You get the fuel economy of a six cylinder, but it's got the power of a V8 when the twin turbos kick in. Now I'm getting about 25 miles to gallon on the road. Great mileage for a large car like this. This is a great car for those people that still want a large sedan with a lot of leg room and trunk room. You know, I really like this Lincoln and it, the $57,000 that's on the window sticker, it's about $15,000 cheaper than the Lincoln LS460. And staying with the luxury theme, a new design by Jaguar is getting mixed reviews. Now you know a Jag when you see one, it's just got that classic Jag look. But take a look at this one. It's the Jag Bartoni B99. Now it's just a concept. The company will show it off at the upcoming show in Geneva. You can still see the Jag DNA, but it's quite a modern design. Some people feel like this is the future of Jaguars, while others like me think it's too much of a departure from the company's traditional heritage. But remember, it's just a concept at this point, so it may never make it to the showroom. But as Porsche discovered, you can be successful with a radical new model. Take the Panamera. Porsche enthusiasts hated this car when it came out, but it's proven to be very, very popular. So much so that the company's building a hybrid version right now that'll be available later this year. And on the subject of alternative power, electric car maker Tesla appears to be turning the corner finally. The company is investing heavily to get production going of its new S model sedan. But they're going to have to move fast. The Nissans and GMs of the world are fast becoming fierce competitors in the electric car market. Tesla believes it will see a 50% jump this year in demand. And Toyota and Daimler are paying Tesla to build a battery pack for their cars. So for now, Tesla's holding its own and hopes the Model S will put it over the top. $57,000 on the wind sticker and it's scheduled to go into full production next year. So is electric the way to go with cars? Well, I've driven the Nissan Leaf and I really liked it until it ran out of juice and left me stranded on the side of the road. And it's no easy task to get it powered up again. Also just drove the Chevy Bolt and I like it too. And with its hybrid powertrain, it didn't strand me. But is it worth the $41,000 price tag? In my opinion, the electric car industry right now it's just like buying one of the first cell phones back in the mid 80s. They were very cool, but they were also clunky. You could only talk on them for about an hour and they were very expensive. Now you get a lightweight cell phone that lasts a long time on a single charge and they're next to nothing. When electric cars get to that point, I think I'll be in. But until then, I think I'll just keep pumping gas instead of plugging in. Catch me on the radio Saturdays in Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Lubbock, and Dallas, Fort Worth. Check the website carproshow.com for shows and details. I'm Jerry the Car Pro. Have a great week.